What's going up everyone? It's yo boy emo panda cat here who did not feel like putting on makeup today. And today we are going to be unboxing my first ever order from DK Oldies. It's technically two different orders, but I ordered them both within a 24 hour period of each other. Please don't ask. And they arrived on the same day, so I'm just going to count it as one order. Um, I discovered them on YouTube through their YouTube shorts. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what's in here. Um, a copy of Injustice Ultimate Edition on the Xbox 360. Uh, this is a Xbox 360 E, um, 120 gigabyte with a controller and all the cords. Um, a copy of Cars 2 on the DS with case and manual. That was my first ever video game that I owned, by the way. So nostalgia there. And a copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game only on the DS. We're going to be testing them and unboxing them. We're going to do the DS games first for testing, just because it's going to take a while to set up and update this. So here's the back of the package. I'm not going to show the front because it has my personal information on it, but this is what my games are in. So let's go ahead and open it up, shall we? <sighs> and a quick shout out to my sponsor, Ulti Energy. Use code EMOCAT70 for 10% off. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to check that out. They definitely do put a good bit of bubble wrap in here. Come on. Okay, so, right off hand, the case is damaged. I don't know how well you can see that, but right off hand you can see right there that the case is damaged. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to reach out to them about that, or for, I think I think I'll check the website again first. But I think it guarantees it there to be in good condition. Okay, they actually gave me a uh, manual along with it. Hey, I just ordered just the game in case, so that's cool. Oh, the disc looks almost brand new. I mean, you can see it's practically a mirror. But uh, other than other than the case being damaged, um, it's in good shape. Although I personally thought that it had a, a gray case in the copy I owned before, but I could just be mistaken on that. All right, next up we got Cars 2. Like I said, this was the first video game that I ever bought, and they legit just threw that in as an empty as an empty thing, no protection at all. Wow, at least GameStop gave you a little plastic case for it. And I apologize that my lighting isn't very good. Um, yeah, there's the original manual. It even has the poster with it. Oh my word. And the original redemption code for that bonus light mingle McQueen skin. Alright. Yeah, this is I'm remembering this back from when I was a little kid. Like I said, this was the first first video game that I ever bought was Cars 2 on the DS. And I Remember, it came with a little fold-out poster. All right, the original manual. And the game itself appears to be in pretty good condition. So, 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 so far, other than the case being cracked, um, we're we're doing well. We're doing well. All right, we're going to. Like I said, we're going to test the DS games out first. I'm going to test Cars 2. I got my DS right here. More specifically, my DSi. Touch screen to begin. Alright, let's see if it works. I put it in, it's not reading it. Oh, there we go. Loading, alright. So far, so good. Alright, it appears to be working. Alright, Pixar logo. Alright, so the game appears to work so far. We're going to wait till we actually get through the main menu. I remember this had a whole bunch of little loading screens. 2011, that was a while back. Alright. Seems to work. Alright. Alright. So this definitely does work, so we're going to take it out and try Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I got this, e I got my DS on eBay, for anyone who's wondering. Alright, easy now. 
All right, time for some turtle time. All right, start. Let's see if it actually gets to the main menu, Ubisoft. Touch to start. I hope I don't need a stylus to play this because I currently do not have one. I ordered one. All right, seems to be working just fine. I am a little disappointed that this did not, the DS game did not come with any sort of a case. Like at least GameStop, which is infamous for being cheap, gave you a little plastic case for games that didn't have the original case. Like, come on. But oh well, at least it works. That's what really matters. Um, I did have to deal with loose cartridges a few times, a few times as a kid. All right, so I'll uh, arrange all of that later. Now for the Xbox. If I remember where I just put my knife, I put it up here. All right. <sighs> no free gift for me, unfortunately. At least not so far. Well, I guess Injustice did technically come with a manual when I ordered without a manual. So, you know. It's all good. Yeah, I can definitely smell the packing peanuts. Alright. That's a lot of packing peanuts, my friend. My friends. Alright, let's see here. TM... I don't know what on earth this is. It's got like a bunch of writing on it, a little red sticker. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. That's probably something within their business. All right, what we got here? All right, well, here's the uh, here's the power adapter. So this is definitely not the uh, original power adapter. I guess that's all right though, as long as it works. Alright, so this looks like they gave me a brand new, um, not original adapter, which, you know, as long as it works, I'm not going to complain with. Alright, let's see if we can hunt down the controller. Alright, I got a cosmetically flawed one. It didn't guarantee the original controller, but it looks like I got the original controller anyways. And no batteries, but that's alright, because I know that there are shipping restrictions with batteries. All right, so, was the HDMI cord in this box? Because it did say it came with an HDMI cord. Power cord. Nope, the HDMI cord is not in here. All right. There's the actual Xbox. I want to wait until I have everything else pulled out. Okay, where's the HDMI cord? Okay, this is not good because I need a HDMI cord. Oh, wait, wait, I feel something. Here it is. All right, don't believe that's the original HDMI cord either, but, you know, I don't think it needs the original one to operate. I don't even need the original power cord to operate, so my Xbox One does definitely does not have the original power cord. I actually did a whole video discussing my used Xbox One from GameStop. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to check that out. System and game startup, I'll check that out later. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Here she is. The Xbox 360E, I believe this is a 120 gigabyte storage. It's got a scratch top on it, but I paid for Cosmetically Flawed, so it's alright. Alright, we're going to end this here, and I'm going to set it up. And we'll resume the video there. Alright, so now we've got the 360 set up. Please don't make fun of me. I know it's just sitting in a cardboard box filled up with cardboard. That's the best I could really do. My TV's turned on. I checked to make sure all the cables were hooked up. So now for the moment of truth. Alright, it's coming on. And the batteries I put in here are not new, but they still have life in them. Alright, classic... Xbox 360 logo. It's whirring a little bit louder than I remember them, but that's probably just my memory. Alright, calibrate the controller. Apparently got to press this. Do I press it or hold it? I'm holding it. 
What, what do you want me to do, controller? I'm pressing it. Hold it. Wait. I'm holding it. It's not working. Okay. What am I doing wrong here? I'm trying. Do I just press it or hold it? Well, now it's not doing anything. Come on. Come on. Connect. Do I have to press one of these? I might have to press one of those buttons. It's been a really long time since I set one of these up. Do I have to press like that and then that? This does not have the original manual on how to set it up. It's not connecting. It's not a good sign. Come on. It's saying press the home button. I press the home button, it just keeps flashing. Do I press it or hold it? Come on. I'm trying to press the A button. Okay. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. There's something wrong with the controller. There's something wrong with the Xbox. It is vaguely possible that these batteries are almost dead and I just didn't realize it. What am I doing wrong here? Alright, so I took the battery pack out. I just put it back in. Come on. Come on, calibrate. Come on. This is one of the reasons I prefer a corded controller, because you don't have to go through uh, controller calibration. But unfortunately, I do not have a corded Xbox controller. I have a wireless, as you can see. Come on. Okay, so before I say that DK Oli's did anything wrong here, I'm going to look up on YouTube how to set up one of these controllers, because... I guess I'm just not doing something right. Okay, so after a quick YouTube video, we got the controller set up and running, so now I'm gonna set up these, I'm gonna set this up real quick. All right, we are officially signed in. Uh, tell me about like 10, 15 minutes, because I had to reset my password twice for some reason. It just didn't work the first time. So uh, yeah, here at Avatar Customization. Not too shabby. All right, time to see if this actually works. Come on. And reading. All right, I hear the hum. All right, we got black screen. It's probably just loading. All right. So far, so good. Injustice God's Among Us. That's what's up. Surprised it doesn't need an update. But all right, this is backwards compatible, by the way, for anyone who's wondering. I'll probably be playing it on my uh, Xbox One mainly. I actually got an Xbox 360 mainly just so I could play Xbox original games. Believe it or not. All right, so it's working just fine so far. In my opinion, the first one's better than the second one. Injustice. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I am happy. I am happy with my order. I'm going to check again about their, uh... I'm going to contact them about the cracked case and see if they're willing to resolve it. First, I'm going to look at their website and see if it guaranteed the case to be in perfect condition or not. But we'll go from there. Alright, so I called DK Goldies. They said they would send me a replacement case. I am honestly surprised by how easily it was to say, hey... This came damaged. She didn't even ask to email any proof. She, she, all she asked was the order number, and she said, "All right, we'll send you a replacement case." That was it. I mean, if they had, if they needed proof, you know, I had it completely ready to give them, of course. But that was surprisingly easy. I mean, all I said was, "Okay, the case arrived uh, cracked and chipped." Um, and she was like, "Okay, we'll send you a replacement case." All right, that was, that was pretty simple. Um, you know, a lot of people. I've been seeing online just been hating on them or crapping on them like, oh, they don't actually, uh, 
they don't actually refurbish their consoles or whatever. And I'm like, well, my Xbox 360 is working fine. I'm using it. Well, I'm not using it this very second, but it's turned on right now. And everything else worked. I mean, the game, the games work. The console works. So 10 out of 10 experience. You know, and the one little, the one min minor issue I did have, resolved just like that. So I'm giving DK Goldies a 10 out of 10 experience. Um, I hope you liked this video. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. Always remember that God loves you and you are awesome. Peace out.